One of the hardest things about moving to a new area is you don't even know where anything is. Like, are there certain part of towns you should look at the most? Are there others that you should avoid? Like, what are the differences between all the different places? Like, it's, it's so hard to know until you actually live there. So, in this video, I am going to walk you through San Diego on the map. It might be the most boring video in the entire world, but somebody out there is going to appreciate this because they're then going to understand what all of the different parts of San Diego are like and it will help them figure out where they want to live. Hi, I'm Allison Can. I am a realtor here in San Diego, California. I love helping people love where they live and this video is hopefully going to help steer you in the right direction so that you can make sure that you are looking for homes in areas that you will love. Before we dive in, if you wouldn't mind clicking subscribe and hitting the little bell next to it so that you get notified when I put out new content, it would be super duper appreciated. Also, if you get any value from this video at all, would you please give it a thumbs up? Thanks so much. All right, let's dive in. So let's start with where is San Diego? So obviously it's in the United States, it's in the state of California, but just so that we are all clear, it is the very, very bottom of California. I have talked to many people who are not from California who get San Diego and Santa Barbara confused, San Francisco and San Diego. So just wanted to make sure that that is crystal clear. We are at the very, very bottom of, San or of California. We are south of LA and we literally border Mexico. You can see here, this little red outline is the county of San Diego, and it is a really big county. It covers a wide variety of different types of areas. In general, San Diego is kind of talked about in like South Bay. There's like central San Diego, there's North County, and then there's East County. And probably everyone's definitions of where those borders are for those areas is probably a little bit different, but I'll kind of walk you through where they generally land. In general, where you live in San Diego is gonna be driven by two things, where you work and what your budget is. So first you're gonna start with where do I work? Do I work in North County? Do I work in Central? Do I work in South County? Do I, where do I work? And then from there, you're gonna be like, okay, well, I probably want to live by the beach, but can I afford that? And then you'll just keep working your way inland until you find where you can afford that's still a decent distance from your work. So let's start with like central San Diego, and then we can work our way out. This is downtown San Diego. Here you're going to have downtown Little Italy, um, the gas lamp district, stuff like that. This is going to be like super walkable, lots of good restaurants. Um very urban, you are going to deal with quite a bit of homelessness. Um, but it's like, this is if you want to be like, in the midst of everything, you live downtown, or in Little Italy, or one of the downtown neighborhoods. If you don't want to be directly downtown, but you still want to be kind of in the stuff, then you're probably going to be around, I wish you would stop doing that, around Balboa Park. Around Balboa Park is going to be Bankers Hill, Hillcrest, North Park, South Park, and then we've got, you know, a couple of other little things up here. North Park is what's going to be like where everyone's going to tell you to live. And this is like great restaurants, super walkable, lots of breweries, very like younger, hip, bustling area. It's very fun. There's lots of cute craftsman houses, um, little bungalows. It's a great area. You are going to deal with some homelessness um, and it's very congested. Just parking is going to be more of a challenge. These are like the places everyone's going to tell you to live. It's like basically like Little Italy and North Park. Those are going to be like the first two things that everyone says. Next, they're going to say Pacific Beach. This again is like a younger fun area in general, but it's also a beach town. So you're also going to find just people who really want to live in like just a super beach town. It is going to be on the more expensive end of things um, just because everything west of the five is going to be the most expensive because obviously the closer you get to the water, the more expensive things get. The further inland you go, the less expensive things get in general. The other very popular area is Ocean Beach, which is over here on the Point Loma Peninsula. And that again, super beach town, 
very popular, very cute, lots of walkability, lots of great stuff to do. Again, very congested and pretty expensive. So, you know, if you want the beach towns, you're definitely going to pay. If you really, really, really want a beach town, but you just can't afford these places, you can go up into North County to Oceanside. And we'll talk about that in a bit. I will just point out Coronado. So the Hotel Del Coronado is like one of San Diego's like most well-known things. And that is on the Coronado Island, which is technically a peninsula. But um, this is like super expensive, like $2 million average price point on homes. Um, so if you can live on Coronado, it's awesome. It's beautiful. There's lots of walkability. Um, but you know, you have to be very wealthy to do that. If you aren't going to live around here, but you maybe work downtown, then you're probably going to want to live in maybe like a Claremont, something like this, because it's super central. This whole area is little ranch houses. Like the whole area basically is just little ranch houses. They are around a million dollars, the average price point. They're still like kind of less expensive for being so central. But if you can't afford Claremont and you do want to buy a house, you're probably going to end up in like Sara Mesa or maybe Allied Gardens um, in Del Cerro, although these areas have gotten just about as expensive. Tierra Santa is kind of like a sleeper area that no one ever thinks about, but I love it. It's very much a suburb feel and just like super chill, like just a really nice area. Basically, Mission Trails Park is kind of the dividing line between Central and East County. So once you get there, you're going to be going into East County. And over here, we've got you know, Santee, El Cajon, La Mesa, Spring Valley, Lemon Grove. These are kind of the primary areas that most people look at. If you absolutely can't afford these, then you'll head out more into like the Lakeside area um, or Rancho San Diego. But in general, those are the kind of the East County areas that I would say most people look in. Kind of in the middle here is San Diego State. And so you've got like all the areas around state. Rolando Village is really cute. Um, some of these areas are just a little less gentrified, for lack of a, of a better word, but like they're just, you know, maybe not as pretty, like the houses may be a little more run down, stuff like that. Similarly, kind of this whole area in through here has the same, a lot of it has the same or a similar feel to that. Like this is kind of the, I would say probably least popular area in San Diego, but... If you do find a little pocket, because there are pockets in here that are really cute, you can get like a really nice house for $700,000, which may sound expensive if you're coming from somewhere else, but it's actually really cheap for San Diego. So um, I would say don't write this area off until you've driven around through it and, you know, make sure you check it out. We also have, of course, La Jolla. So one of my favorite areas is here around Kate Sessions Park. This is just north of PB. Um, and this is all like the super rich, like beach areas. So La Jolla Village is beautiful. All the houses here, are super beautiful and like crazy expensive. I think it's like over two and a half million dollars is the average price point. University City is where UTC or University Town Center Mall is, which we have like two primary malls. There's UTC and then there's Fashion Down. Fashion Valley Mall down here in Mission Valley. And so University City, like if you are up here by UTC, this is going to be apartments and condos and a lot of students because UCSD is right there. If you are down here, this is going to be like the houses. This is like a very, like a nicer, like just like family community for lack of a better term. Um, it's a little bigger houses, a uh, little more expensive, very just chill and um, a great place for like doctors to, to live, you know, cause they're close to um, like all the different hospitals, just, you know, a really good, a good neighborhood. If you go over here to Kearney Mesa, Convoy Street runs through here, which is known as kind of the ethnic area for food. Um, it's primarily Asian. And I would say actually a lot of the ethnic does spill into Claremont as well. And then if you come down here, down by um, U USD is down here near the Linda Vista area. This is kind of a 
it's just like a not so pretty area yet. If you're looking for investment properties, this could be a really great spot because if you can see how super central it is, but it just still has a lot of kind of like just run down stuff. So it is ripe for being transformed. Kensington, which is right here. And actually anything along Adams is like in the North Park area and all down this way is all like super cute. This area is called Kensington. This is one of my favorites because it's like all Spanish style houses. It's not cheap, but it's a great area. It's got some good walkability. So if you want like kind of an in-town area, but like a little less of the hustle and bustle, Kensington can be a really great option. If you want to be like in a North Park or something like that, but you can't afford it, then you're going to start heading out, you know, east to Talmadge or City Heights, kind of all of this area. Normal Heights actually is probably where you're going to hit first and then you'll head out this way. If your budget ends up taking you to East County, you'll end up in one of these areas. La Mesa is one of my favorites. It's got the, such a cute little downtown, really great restaurants. Spring Valley and um, Lemon Grove are definitely up and coming areas that have some cute cuteness going for them, but they still you know, have kind of almost a rural feel in a way, but they've got, you can get some good value for your money there. El Cajon, I will say definitely feels kind of far away, but it's still really like a half an hour from like downtown. And it's got a lot of like little ranch houses for, you know, pretty good prices. So if you need to end up out there, it's, you know, not a bad area. It's just a little further out. If you want to head south, that is another way to save some more money. Chula Vista is the primary city down here. We do have National City and Imperial Beach over here as well. But for the most part, Chula Vista is going to be less expensive. If you go inland Chula Vista, East Lake and Otay Ranch are like all like newer master plan communities. So a lot of people like these areas because it's just newer. It's very pretty. It's very like all planned out. Lots of good stores. I think Otay Ranch actually has like 101 stores is like one of their big claims. The thing to think about here is there are extra taxes called Mellow Roos that you will likely have to pay if you buy a house here. Um, so you just need to work that into the budget. Now let's head up north and... This is Miramar, so this is Top Gunville. So this is like where the base is. Inland from that, Scripps Ranch, we've got uh, Carmel Mountain Ranch. Um, and these areas are very much just nice houses, bigger houses. Um, they're not crazy expensive, but they're definitely getting up there in price point, but they can be really nice because you can actually get like a pretty big house if you need like five bedrooms. This can be a good way to do it. And the commute back down this way isn't usually too horrible. So that can be a good option. This is like 20 minutes to, you know, like Balboa Park. Mira Mesa is right here, kind of in the middle are like right above Miramar, but in the middle of this little section. And Mira Mesa has a ton of good values in it. It's got, this is a great place to rent an apartment for less expensive, um, buy investment properties. And if you want to buy a house for a little less expensive, this can be a good area too. You're probably still looking, you're probably pushing about a million dollars at this point, but, um, but it's, you know, it's a good area that has a lot of upward potential. There's actually a big initiative that just passed that's going to massively change Mira Mesa over the next 35 years. So stay tuned for that. Sorrento Valley is where a lot of jobs are. There's a lot of tech in this area. So a lot of people work here and then want to live in the surrounding areas. 56 is generally thought of as like where North County starts. I actually really think it kind of starts at the merge. That's where I define it. Um, and Carmel Valley is the first area that you hit. And that's where I live. This is an area that's known for its schools. It's obviously really close to Serrano Valley. So it's close to like jobs. It's close to University City and those jobs. This is a very expensive area. And um, everyone who wants to live here who can't afford it then goes out here to Rancho Penasquitos, which again, nice area, great schools. It goes into the Poway School District. Um, but the houses are, you know, a little older and 
less expensive. Poway is another um, East County city that's got like really good schools. I did mention that another area that I feel like actually when I was in college had a really bad reputation, but now it's actually just a nice little suburb of San Diego. If you go up here to right above Black Mountain Ranch, you've got 4S and Del Sur. These are all like master plan community area. Very nice houses, very small yards, um, but it's kind of like a community in and of itself. Like you don't need to leave this area once you're in it. Over here east is Rancho Bernardo, which is one of my like crush communities. Like I love Rancho. Some people don't like being this far inland because it does start getting hot. But if you have air conditioning, maybe that's not that big of a deal. Rancho is also known for having lots of senior communities. So there are lots of seniors who live there, which I think kind of makes it like chill and safe feeling. And, but it's just really nice, good schools um, and a great place to go. It, you know, if you want to save a little money as you're going a little bit north and a little bit inland. And that usually means things are a little less expensive. You keep going up, you're going to hit Escondido. This is like the most Northern major city in San Diego. Um, when you go further north of this, you're basically getting into kind of like rural, like Sticksville. So Escondido is very much up and coming. There is a lot of new restaurants and stuff going on there. The people I talk to who live there absolutely love it, but it is, you know, it is inland, it is north. So it's not always people's like first choice, but I definitely say, you know, if this is where your budget takes you, check it out because it's definitely worth checking out. Similarly, San Marcos and Vista, these are other areas that are kind of like people tend to go to them because of budget. They can be a little bit of a pain to get into and out of because there's a lot of traffic along the 78. So that can be a little bit of a pain. But if your budget takes you there, there are some great things to be said for both of these areas. Just depends on where you are in them. Some areas are better than others. So you just have to kind of check that out. And we head up here. Camp Pendleton is the top of San Diego, like San Diego ends at Camp Pendleton, basically. And right below that is Oceanside. Oceanside is known as like a military community, basically, because Camp Pendleton's right there. So then a lot of the military people come to Oceanside. It also has very much of a beach town feel. So if you really want to live in a beach town, but you've got a little lower, but lower of a budget, this can be a great place to go. Similarly, Carlsbad, it's a little more expensive than Oceanside. Carlsbad is one of my all-time favorite places in all of San Diego. This is definitely North County. So you're really, you know, you're pretty far away from San Diego. You're probably not going to be going downtown San Diego probably ever, but you don't really need to because there's so much in Carlsbad. It's got a really cute little downtown. It's definitely got a beach feel. And then it just has a ton of great neighborhoods, good schools, all of that. If you keep coming down South, you get to Encinitas, which is a more expensive community. It is super popular. Encinitas, like downtown, is like awesome. There's a ton of stuff there. Great beaches. Um, definitely more of a beach town feel. Very um, feel like everyone in Encinitas is all about like healthy living and all of that. Once you get inland from it in Encinitas, you get more into like, you know, small like farms, like almost urban farming. Though so out here is just feels a little more rural. Then you've got Rancho Santa Fe, which is in the middle of everything here. This is like the super expensive area. So if you are really rich and you want a fancy house, you're going to live in Rancho Santa Fe, La Jolla, or Coronado. And then if you don't live in those places, you're going to live in Del Mar. Those are probably like the fanciest places in San Diego. Solana Beach is kind of in, in the middle here. Also a very more expensive area. Very nice. It has a really great shopping district. That's all like a lot of like local artists and stuff like that. That's very cool. Um, it's a great place to go shopping for Christmas. Definitely another beach town. And then Del Mar is like the ultimate high end beach town. Super cute, really great beaches. It has a dog beach and, um, it's very expensive, <laughs> but it's a really great place to live if you can afford it. Because Miramar is here, if you are living in any of these neighborhoods near there, like 
Mira Mesa, Carmel Valley, especially um, down here into University City, those areas, especially probably even Scripps Ranch over here, you will hear jet noise and really loud helicopters. So just know like I live here in Carmel Valley. We have jets going over us all the time. They can be quite loud. It's not as consistent as like if you live, you know, down here by Liberty Station and you've got airplanes going off every few seconds, but just know that that is something you just have to get used to. I personally mostly don't mind it because especially if I'm outside, I'm just looking up at the jets and like in awe of them every single time I see them. That is one thing to keep in mind. There is another airport here in Sarah Mesa. This is an airport. So if you are living around here, you are going to hear airplane noise as well. And then there is another airport up here in um, Carlsbad. So also know that if you are in this area, you will experience airplane noise as well. And then the last one to really keep in mind is if you are in North Oceanside, if you're up in these neighborhoods, even these, you are going to hear Camp Pendleton and you will hear bombs. It's crazy. I actually was showing houses up in this neighborhood one time and just standing out in the backyard. It's just bombs and bombs and bombs. So just know that you might have to deal with those kind of noises if you're living near Camp Pendleton. So that is pretty much San Diego and kind of where everything is. So if I can help you think through any of that, please don't hesitate to reach out. My phone number is below. 